Welcome back to this week's vlog. Join us this week as we explore the tourist areas of Chalish and Deludinez, catch up with our family from the UK and treat ourselves for a few days in an all-inclusive resort. If you're new to our channel, we are Kieran and Becky. We currently travel full-time in our camper van with our three dogs, Ted, Sunny and Ralph. Back in 2023, we decided to rent out our house in the UK and move into our self-converted tiny home on wheels. Please subscribe to follow our journey throughout Europe and beyond. So we have stopped by here guys, look at the view. So we've just come to this little food truck here. So we've got ourselves a Tavuk Ekmek, which is a chicken bread. And then we've got a Tavuk Durham, which is a chicken wrap. And then we've got some chips and a drink each. How much was it? 410 lira guy and as you can see the van's packed just over there as well so we could actually park up here for the night and the best thing ever is for becky is literally just behind her head there you can see they have a coffee truck as well so we could park up here have food here during the day and have a coffee in the morning uh, becky will be an absolute element the food is so good got the chips um how's yours becky so nice. good yeah? Really tasty, yeah not bad for tenner really so we decided to spend the afternoon at the end of chalice beach so it's been really nice here. Um, the water's been really clear actually, but it is a bit rocky. But we're gonna move away from here now because a lot of Turkish people are here and they are scared of dogs. So I wanted to take the dogs for a walk, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. So we are going, gonna move on further down Chalice Beach. But I must say this bit of beach has been amazing. So we will come back at some point, I'm sure. So we've just come to this bakery now. So I'm gonna have a nosy around. It looks really, really nice. A bit of me, this. <laughs> All takeaways? Yeah. Yeah. Takeaways. So we've just come into a coffee shop. If you watch us regularly, you'll know this is a common occurrence for us. Becky needs a morning coffee or she tends to write monster. So I've ordered a Raf coffee, which is coffee, cream and vanilla. So it looks very pale, but I'm guessing that's because <clears throat> of the cream. Try it. Really nice. Is it something new that you're trying then? Yeah, something new. And I got a little biscuit. It's nice. Mm. Just come to local pet shop because we are running out of pet food. So we've gone through 15 kilos in like five, six weeks. So we need to get some more now. But it is a lot more expensive here naturally than what it is in the UK. So you're looking around about 50 pound a bag here. So that's in 2000 Turkish lira. See the dog asleep outside. Look at him. Bless. Not a pet shop without a cat, is it? We are going for the, gonna go for the low grain, um, wheat free. We actually was hoping to get grain free, but it's very hard to get over here. And when you do find it, you're paying like 4,000 Turkish lira, which is like a, a hundred pound for a bag, which is absolutely ridiculous. And we've actually finally found somewhere that sells poo bags. This is where Becky's having her hair done now. She's getting a blow dry. So we're going to check it out, see how she's getting on. How are you getting on? So Becky's back, she's had her hair blow dried. There we go. It did charge a little bit more, it said 250, didn't it? Yes, it did. It did say 250, uh, 250 lira when we went in earlier. And then I got to the desk and I said, how much? And I also said to pay cash because his menu said cash discount. So I said, I'll pay cash. And he went 300 and my social anxiety would not let me say, oh. But said 250. Make it very far down the road, guys. We stumble upon this restaurant here. So <laughs> we had to go in. It looks quite nice, a bit cosy some shade as well for the dogs so we thought well why not we literally made it probably about 100 meters down the road and pulled in oh, ah. thank you look at that just shake you there oh becky's got like a meatball sandwich i've never seen that before actually it looks quite yeah, good that it. but I've, I've actually seen it on the menu a few times but i've never actually thought oh that looks a bit of me but it does actually and then we've got a cheese sandwich and then they're making us some they're bringing us some chips as well in a minute we've got to order chips and they got some olives, but <laughs> that is not a bit of me whatsoever, so they can keep them. Thank you very much. I've just worked my magic, guys. I've found us another place to go for a swim. So we drove past this place, it looked quite dead, and it was like the swim pool in there. There's also a restaurant as well, so I stopped off and I went in and asked them and said, if we bring three dogs in and we have a drink, can we use the swim pool? I said, yeah, no problem. They love food. Oh, nicely, Ralph, nicely. Oh, she's not Nicely, nicely. Oh, oh, <laughs> I sat down here, it was really, really nice. And then looking a little bit further down, I can see a big sign saying Lidl. So I'm gonna check it out. I want to know what it is. It's like looks like a proper Lidl sign. I mean, it's clear not Lidl. 
because there ain't no little in Turkey. So we're here, let's check it out, see what it's about. I don't know what it is, I think it's a supermarket. I mean, I can't see anything British in here, so I don't think it's a British supermarket. I think it's just one way to get people to come and have a look in the shop. That was an epic fail, I thought there was going to be some like, British produce or something in there. Maybe some like lure pack. I mean, we've got, we got salted butter now from the market, so we're all right. But I just thought I might be able to get maybe squash or something. Just left now, I didn't end up going in the pool. I could have done, but the guy in the end said, oh no, yeah, you can't really use the pool because you're not in the uh, hotel. But then the woman said, because, so I was like, oh. Anyway, we sat down. I had a drink, it was very expensive, like three times what we paid in the restaurant we went to before. Um, I think it was 95 Turkish lira for a drink. We have come down into Ludenez for today. We got packed up, but it did cost us 200 Turkish lira, which is five pound. But it was, this was because there was nowhere to park at all. Um, everywhere was paid parking. All the seafront is pedestrianized, so you, there's only a certain place you can park. So we had to pay to park. Not the end of the world. We're probably not gonna come back here at any point for that exact reason but it is nice here. So we stopped off at Bella Gusto, so we're just gonna grab something to eat now. So we've had something to eat, full up now, went back to the van, and we need to find ourselves a park up for this evening. So we're probably gonna end up heading back to Chalish, um, Chalish Beach, and find a park up on there. bumped into a little market on the way back to the van. Let's have a quick nosy. So now we've just stumbled back onto the main street, as always, so we're having a nosy up and down here now. But it's nice and cool now for the dogs, so we don't mind having them out. Oh, yeah. You have two, two pugs, yes? Oh, you have two pugs? Yes. This colour? Yes, same colour. Yes, same. Oh, I like the black ones as well. Yes, yeah, super black. But we have our hands full, so no more. <laughs> oh, really? He's, um, oh, I can't remember the name. He's uh, one of those ones who go like that. Violin. With the, what? With a violin? Oh, uh, it's a bit funny, yeah? But they go like that. Where are you using legs? No, no, no. no. Oh, 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 oh. Legs I four. wish I could say, but I yes, can't remember the name. <laughs> oh, that, was, that could be Ralph and Sunny Lidl. Yeah, you won't know. If you, if you, they lay down. Be them here when it's hot for them. Today, it's too hot for them. Look at his pub. Let's have a look. Oh. oh. Yeah, five years. Five years old? Yeah. Everybody's got pubs. Oh, this four heads. That was nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Bye, nice later, guys. I don't think they've ever had as much attention. Come on, <laughs> Dance. Yes, that's it. Backflip. Backflip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't pack that there, mate. As always, we've got to stop off somewhere because Becky's found a place now that there's waffles. She's really craving waffles. I'm actually craving a pancake, but I don't oh, know if we're going to have it. But do you know what? I will settle for any warm dessert that has ice cream on top. There, you heard it here first. I'm easy to please tonight. I'm just, I just need. We're spending a fortune sweet. today, guys. I think we're broke. We back, back into today. We're this broke. is one of our most expensive days, but you know what? I don't, I don't care at the moment. I don't think they do waffles or ice creams, so no. I just went inside. There's no menu anyway, but there are cabinets full of like brownie and stuff like that, and like like the puddings that. There's you nothing got. warm. I mean, there's a picture there of like ice cream on like something. Okay, maybe they do, but I couldn't see anything. I also couldn't see a menu. There's this little boy here cooking something on the stove top thing there. But it's definitely not pancakes or waffles. They've got a good selection of ice cream. I'll have a nosey. Go and have a nosey. Have a wreck here, see what you think. <laughs> Well, that was an epic fail, guys. So anyway, we're on the main strip of Chalice Beach. So we're just having a nosy down. If we don't find something in the supermarket that sells ice creams, we might have to settle flat tonight. So to say it's like that out of season, I'm quite surprised how busy it is at the minute. But it's quite nice down here. Seems a bit upbeat, doesn't it? She's there, isn't it? <laughs> 
Yeah, he's so tippy. Do you do this one? Yes. Yes? Ladies. This one? Oh. It is on a stick. Guys, we've got Vinetta on a stick. I've never seen that before. Look at that. Vinetta on a stick. And guys, that is like 40, just less than 40p for a Vinetta on a stick. These two ice creams come to one pound. Morning, we are actually going to the dentist today. So Becky's having a bit of a toothache, might be possibly one of her fillings that is infected. Um, so we're going to the dentist now. It should only be about 50 quid, I think. I think so. For a white filling, that is as well. White filling. We're not a dark one, so obviously. I had some white fillings last year in the UK, and I want to I want to say I paid about 120, 130 pound a tooth. But white fillings here are about 50, so they are much less. So, so we got to the dentist, and everything was running great. Becky has been in, and they've told her she needs five fillings instead of the one and she needs a wisdom tooth removing. So that's not great, it's very expensive and Becky's gonna be in there for a good hour. So anyway, I decided I'm gonna go do the laundry in the meantime and fill up the water. So I've gone and done that. As I was leaving the laundrette, so the van wouldn't go into, into gear. So I was like, oh my God, tried it three, four times, would not go into gear, wouldn't go into any of the gears. So I thought, here we go. So I spoke to a local and I said, can you find me a mechanic that can come and recover me? Anyway, I thought I'll just go back and I'll try it one more time while he's speaking to him and it went into gear first time perfectly, all, all gears. And I was like, what is going on with this van? We just spent nearly 350 pound on Becky's treatment. We're gonna spend 350 pound on Becky's treatment. And then on top of that, we're gonna probably get a new gearbox. I thought it's gonna be an expensive day today. Anyway, the van seems all right, but I did get the number of the mechanic just in case, because you never know what could happen later down the line. So at least we got the name, a number of a local mechanic if anything does happen in the future. So anyway, Becky on the way back to the van now. Fingers crossed. So we're parked up here today, guys. We're gonna head on to the beach. The beach in front of me is looking lovely today. It's around about 30 degrees, so just perfect. Boys, you ready to go in the water? Yeah. So we've brought the dogs round for a little paddle. They never get bored of Kieran just throwing rocks into the sea. And they run after them. They absolutely love it. A great way to cool them down but burn off energy at the same time. So we're heading down now to somewhere called the Halk Plage. So apparently they've got one of these in most towns. So it's similar to the one that we went to at Daliman, if you watched our video of Daliman. Um, and basically it's owned by the government and what they do is they put on cheap food. Um, I think it's because people really can't afford the food at the minute with the crisis of the currency dropping so the pond like really affordable food for the for the people so plage is beach and halk means people so it's a people's beach um, so i think it's really really good that they do this look at the price there 170 turkish lira so we've just had an absolutely amazing day on the beach today and um, we are so excited for our holiday tomorrow two days all inclusive absolutely buzzing but yeah, today's been absolutely amazing at the beach. We've had such a good day. The dogs have absolutely loved it. They've been in and out of the water all day. But now we are on our way to the dog sitters. So we're gonna stay just around the corner overnight and drop the dogs off first thing in the morning. But just now we are gonna grab ourselves something to eat at this Donna place. We need some food en route. And here is everything we got for 10 pounds. So I got a little lentil soup. That caught me from that soup, it's half a lot. Why have they given me so much bread? It's warm. <laughs> is it? Yeah. What is? They just baked it. <laughs> just baked it. Uh, half a loaf of bread apparently for that soup. So I'll just pop my half a loaf of Warburton's there. So then I've got, mi I ordered mixed meat. So I've got kofta and steak in there. So Kieran ordered a burger, but they had none of the burger bread left. So that's fine. They've put it on a little roll. That. Looks, looks very cheesy, dark. it does have sauce on it. Good, it's alright, I know what I would. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's Kieran's little cheesy burger. On a Big weird, cheesy burger. On a weird bread, but it looks very nice. I it think does. you're going to really like I've, that. I'm looking forward to that. Got a chip. Got, oh, what's <laughs> fell out? Got, oh, Ralph can have that. <gasps> got chips bite on, I love it when we put that chips bite on. Dead good. We've got two side salads. They look really nice. Do you know what? If we don't eat those, I'll have that tomorrow. Oh, that look oh, I want we'll be at the hotel those side salads look really nice i'm definitely going to have some of that with my meat and then the thing on the menu that i was querying like the crumpet thing on the menu is actually just like a syrup sponge so i got a half portion of this like syrup sponge 
to try. I thought I'll try it. I've not had it before, I don't think. So I thought I'll give that a go. And Kieran got a Coke with his meal as well. So all of this was £10. Don't think you can go too wrong with that. We are definitely going to be full, especially after my bloody loaf. And they give us all the sauce as well. We've got four lots of sauce. Perfect. What more can we ask and for? We've got three lots of knife and forks and spoons. Brilliant. Can't believe all that. Brilliant. Great. We're just dropping the dogs off now at the dog sitter for the next few days. So look at them, they're getting, you can hear them already, already getting started. So we've got six days without them, absolutely going to be amazing. Um, but hopefully they're going to look after super good as well. I will wash pet. Yes. Ah, okay. thank you. I will wash all dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we finally dropped the dogs off the dog sitters. They are loving it. They're running around the garden, sniffing loads of new smells. There's other dogs here as well, so they're gonna have a great time playing around with them. The garden's really big as well, so I'm sure they'll have a great time running around there. A massive shaded area as well, so they can cool off during the day. Um, and also, just inside there, they stay inside the house in the air conditioning during the night time as well. So it's a really good setup. It's really nice setup. It? It's, it's really just cute. hard leaving our babies. Like, I think we've only used a dog sitter maybe once. Yeah, once in Italy. In Italy, when we were at a wedding, um, and we yeah, other than that, it's usually family. But obviously, we've got a family here to look after them. So, but they are so nice. The lady is so nice. She's like, "Don't worry, I'll send you pictures." So we're finally here, guys. Excited! I'm so excited. I just look excited just to be all inclusive for a few days, just so I can eat as much as I want. Don't have to worry about things. We can just really, really relax by our swimming pool. So it's lunchtime now. We're going to try the Buffy restaurant, which is over the way there. But we decided we're going to try the snack bar today and we'll try the all inclusive Buffy restaurant tomorrow. But this place looks really, really good. Quite a big area, to be honest with you. So I'll just show you the menu now. It looks really good. I have ordered a Turkish salad and some chicken tenders so I can put the chicken in the salad. I'm just saying, guys, all inclusive, you want for salad? We're serious? Um, with chicken. Wow. Okay, anyway, I've gone for like a Turkish donut. So food just arrived. I've got, we got a pita to share. So like, just do a cheese on it, no meat, just cheese. It's really good. Okay. Like a cheesy garlic bread, it's lovely. Um, and then we've got like a kebab with like bread, sauce, a few, few grilled um, vegetables and some rice. Becky's got herself a salad, but it, don't, it just came as a normal salad, so she has some chicken tenders as well, so she put them on top. Now Becky wants to go for a coffee. Obviously, so we found the coffee wagon, it's just opened up. So we're gonna get ourselves a coffee now. Well, Becky's getting a coffee, not me. Here she is. Get yourself an all inclusive where you can get that on tap. Lovely, lovely. What is it? Ice caramel latte. Lovely. So we're all dressed. Look at us, look at us. Fancy, yeah? So take a special t shirt on. Take a special t shirt. And it's dodgy little logo. Yep, dodgy one. Look at That's that. It. So we are heading to the buffet now, so we're gonna get buffet food. Can't wait. What time is it here? Mm, nearly eight. We might even have a few drinks tonight. I've heard that all inclusive are offering amaretto, and amaretto is my drink. Oh, it's that my, as well. My type of drink, that. When you're on your holiday, why enjoy not? It. Eh? Why not? <laughs> this early but I woke up and I was like I best go get some sunbeds because they're all gonna be taken if I don't luckily I actually got down here pretty early and I got to the front row so look at me go me yeah so now we're just gonna head to breakfast now so we're gonna have a bit of an early breakfast relax chill out for a bit hopefully there's no one there because there's not seen anybody about at all so we might have a nice relaxed breakfast on our own It'd be lovely that won't it find ourselves a nice little booth that tucked out of the way lovely so we're going to start off with a little fried breakfast. Obviously it's not full English guys, you're not going to get your bacon over here or your sausage. This is what we're going with, French toast, tomato, a little bit of, um, I don't know, roasted potatoes, mushrooms and some beans, alright? And? What... And soot, which is our milk, made of milk. You know how much I love milk, if you watch me regularly. 
thank you so much for watching this week's vlog if you've enjoyed it please remember to like comment and hit the subscribe button and you can follow us on our other social media for daily updates as well